everyone, it's Desiree. This is what I did when my computer was broken from four to five weeks. It was an awesome time. Yes, lots of tinfoil and standing in different positions to make sure that I could get my Wi-Fi so I could continue to edit and upload my videos for my channel. It was fun, but this was a good thing. So what I'm going to do is just show you my prototype for my junk journals. Some of you may or may not know, I do have an Etsy channel or an Etsy shop, um, and these will actually be going in there very soon. Now, again, this is a prototype. So I just wanted you to see what I created. See um, if you would be interested in some process videos on this. Um, if you are, let me know in the comments down below. And again, it could be from start to finish. It could be my process, whatever it is you're interested in. Um, um, even the different facets. Let me know if you're interested in that. All right, so let's get started. And again, this is why, <laughs> this is what I did when my computer broke. And this is just one version. This version is actually gonna focus on the sketcher, somebody who uses colored pencils. Um, I always like a specific theme for things that I create. All right, so you will see that. So let's get started and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so here is what this looks like. Now, I am actually slowing this video down just in case you're wondering, no, I'm not moving that slow. So here, again, this is going to be focused on somebody who uses colored pencils, who sketches, graphites, whatever it is, because um, that's the paper. We've got lots of things poking out on this because I love doing that. Um, everything came from my stash, which is what's wonderful. So the first part in the cover, it's a tag and there's a little opening because that is actually a paper clip that can either hold something to the front or you can use it throughout your journal. Now I'll show what else you can do with that little paper clip there, you can see a piece of it um, and how interactive this can be. I do like to use organza or sari silk, sari silk through to um, close up the journal. And those are actually paper beads that I make. I love making paper beads. I kind of take paper with me and just keep rolling it wherever I go or I'm sewing yo-yos. Mm. But when it comes to this piece of ribbon or uh, my sari silk, I actually thread it through the signature that I sew. This way it stays attached, it doesn't go anywhere, and it's easy just to tie back up. The imagination, the create, and I believe it's dreams come from the Tim Holtz word stickers, um, and then I just make sure I adhere them and ink them up. I have some pattern paper. Of course, I use some book paper. Um, I do like to use pattern papers through mine as well. So you will have a vintage feel throughout this. I also do like to sew around that um, when it comes to my papers. Now, again, this is the toned gray paper, sketch paper, and it's not big enough for the pads that I have. So I create a hinge using paper bags. Yes, the lunch paper bags. There is the white colored pencil paper, some music paper. And I saw in one of Attic Lane's video, if you don't have lace, create a stencil with any punches or dies that you have. And that's what I did. This is another version of a paper clip. And I had also seen in one of her videos um, to curl the end of a paper clip. How ingenious is that? Who knew? And then I just create a banner. Again, this is the toned gray. Again, I created that hinge and sew along the edge of that hinge to give it some more strength um, using either a zigzag or a straight. That is coffee dyed paper. And I actually used a brush. That's my version because that was one of the areas I wanted to just steer away from was dyeing papers. This is the Arteza's black sketch paper. And now for that, since it is big enough, it's a nine by 12 pad. 
I was able to cut that down. Again, when it comes to the toned gray and the toned tan papers I have pads, they're the five and a half by eight and a half. So correct height, but too short. So I just created my own hinge. For my music paper, I created a pocket. That's actually a coffee stained tag that created that pocket. And then this is just a piece of paper creating a pullout using some fabric for a pocket and some book papers. And again, now those papers, whenever you see the black or the white, I'm actually using the sketch paper to keep that theme going on. So they can actually, whoever the recipient is that will get this, can actually draw or doodle. Again, here is a piece of the white colored pencil paper that I had in my stash. And again, the toned gray creating that hinge. I do like to create the different stitches. If I do stitch zigzag into straight and then back into zigzag. Um, for those of you that have seen previous videos, you see I outline and then I add those little squiggles. Kind of reminds me of that. So here's just a little uh, pocket book that is sewn onto this page. Um, splattered, get coffee splatters. Okay, so just created that different sizes, inked up the edges, and then I have a fabric tab just so that it hangs off the side. Um, of course, I find a post-it to show you that it's a pocket. Yeah. Hmm. You can see I've curly cued the paper clip again, and that's just a plain paper clip. This tag does come off. Now, the uh, paper is the mixed medium, either tone blue, gray, or tan that you'll see from previous videos. I love that for my colored pencils. That Enjoy is a stamp set that I have. It's really cool. So if you're interested, again, let me know in the video or the comments if you want to see process videos. The vellum, that piece there is actually on vellum and that comes from a download, a digital print by Tracy Fox um, from Tracy Fox Love Junk Journals. Um, I just love her images and when they when I printed them on vellum it was even more wow um, so I had a lot of fun with those that is a button made out of paper um, attic lane kind of she takes original buttons and does this with embossing powders so I'm like why can't I do that with paper um, so I gave it a try again another vellum piece by Tracy Fox I added a charm i thought it went well with the lace and i'm using one of those bulb safety pins and then some muslin on the top that i made sure frayed again that paper can be drawn on as well that's the toned gray mixed media this is the center and it's a pocket so this piece actually is sewn in and i bring it up glue around the sides um, so the tags the tassels from so, uh, sewing the signatures are inside there this pocket here um, you could put a picture on it. I have that black strip just to make it strengthen just a little or make it stronger because it was kind of torn a little bit. Didn't want it to go to waste. Piece of pattern paper. And I created a tab that came off so that when it sits in this pocket, it actually hangs off the side so that you can see it or see it. I'm looking at create, see it. Yeah, that's my word. And then I have inspire on the other side. So now we're going back through the papers. This is a stamp that I have. I thought it went with the pattern paper that I used. And again, it was only one piece of 12 by 12 pattern paper that I used. Um, some more stamping with some butterflies. This here, I, I'm loving this piece. This is actually a bookmark. Um, I was going to wait to the end to come back to that, but I changed my mind and I'm actually going to pull this. So. This is a bookmark that can go throughout your junk journal. So we've got lots of tassels coming off of this. Now the beauty of it is, now this envelope stays on there. You can't take the envelope off. But again, another digit print from Tracy Fox on vellum. This is a little book that I created. And those papers, I just crumbled them like you would crumble up a piece of paper. Then I flattened it. I cut them down. It's just copy paper sewed down the middle of it, inked the edges. So that's a little notebook. As if you're thinking of things to make, you can jot them on there. 
I have burlap sheets, so I covered a tag. This is a tassel that I made using some ribbons and some twine from my stash, all put together on a um, one of those bulb safety pins. And the band that's going around that is actually paper. Yes. Um, takes a while to glue and hold and stand there, but it definitely does work. Now that piece could be added to the front paper clip on your cover. Hence the little tiny thing there. Mm -hmm. But you can see it's a paper clip. So same concept as the piece on the front. Um, just adhered that onto the back, made sure I had some tassels there. Um, you can see the backing of that paper clip. So now wherever that goes, I always have my tassels. I'm sorry, I didn't realize I was that far up um, in my video here. Usually I'm a lot further down and you can't see the bottom. Um, so you can see you can have that fun, but this tassel you could actually put back to the front. So wherever you want that tassel to go, you can attach it. Um, so again, I, I like things that are interactive too. <laughs> so it's a little different, but this was actually going to be the piece to the back of my journal. Um, but no, I figured let's make it a bookmark. And I thought with all those ideas that I have, that would be the best way. Again, using that hinge system to add those papers for the white. Enjoy. Now I could have made that a tuck. For some reason I glued it all the way down, but I'd stamped out the word enjoy, um, which is attached to the other side of believe. And then just some of the spare papers that tag was coffee dyed. And then I just added some craft and some bookmarks again, just having fun tearing with a piece of um, doily coming across. There's the tone gray, some more black. Here's another tag again from a printout using um, Tracy's Fox. She created these layers, just all of these pages with all these different things laying on it. So it's great just to cut them up. She did them in tags. So it was just, it's just awesome. There's the other spare pieces. That pocket there, of course, is a book page. And I actually have a hand punch that creates those lines. I know there's dies out there that do that as well. Um, <clears throat> and then I'm able to thread a piece of ribbon through there, tie it knots up and down. Some more coffee stained paper. Again, it took me forever to do that. I am loving that stamp set. It's by Tim Holtz. Imagine that. Um, I, I, it's all it is, is just these threads. <laughs> it's my new, I found it. Um, it is my new wonderful piece there. Again, here's another tag, but again, it's just coming off the page so that dreamer can be up on the top the way that I glued it. And that's one of her Tracy Fox's images again as well. A long bow just to drape down, use some more of, use the balance. I ended up with a half an inch by one and a half inch piece from that 12 by 12 pattern paper. You know, let it go through. It pulls all of that stuff together. And then that brings us to the end. So again, this is a sketcher's dream in my mind. I don't put anything on the back, but you can doodle on the back as well. This is for a sketcher or a colored pencil artist in mind because of the papers that are used. Um, they are special to what they do. And you can see that if you look at that little loop, I'm surprised I didn't show you, but that little loop on that paper clip for the piece that comes off the cover, you could put the tassel with, as I'm pointing to my screen, um, put the tassel with the paper clip or the bulb clip right there. And then that can move through and be another bookmark as well. Um, so again, sketcher, graphic artist, colored pencil person in mind when it comes to this. And again, this is my prototype. So can't stress enough. If you're interested, I didn't know if anyone would be interested. I know people have asked me before when I've said junk journal, I make and sell junk journals. Um, people are like, oh, do that process. I just want to check to make sure. Do you want to see that? Um, I'm still going to do my cards, but again, I am a paper crafter. I love what paper can do. We can rip it. We can tear it. We can shred it. We can crumble it. We can dye it. We can ink it. We can stamp it. 
it's wonderful what we can do with paper. So this is just something else that I like to do. The products, if they are still available, if you saw some of the stamp set, I'll have some of them listed, but again, not too many products. Um, because it's just kind of all over the place. So let me know if you want to see the processes. I do have some of it filmed. I did actually hit video once in a while, but I am happy to say my computer's back and I am sure I will still continue to watch YouTube like a fiend. For those that truly have inspired me, I mean, there's so many, um, but a lot of the ideas for these projects here um, came from all of the inspiration and I will make sure that they are listed down below so that you can be inspired as well or if you just want to be nosy on what they're doing um, by all means please check those out again down in the video description but I do hope everyone's having a great day um, I want to thank you so much for stopping by to watch I'm sorry I'm Gabby in this one but if you like Gabby great if you haven't already subscribed, please hit that button. Make sure you hit the bell as well so that you can know when the next video is coming, especially if you want this series. I hope everyone's having a great day. Remember, take care, but remember what's most important for me. Always be creative.